and neighbors. I wanted to do a quick video this afternoon and show you all this beautiful SS Stewart Universal Favorite number three. I've been told by Joel Hooks that contrary to popular belief, there's no such thing as Universal Favorite number four. So this is a number three. Apparently that's a misconception in, in the community that there is some people out here calling stuff number fours and apparently there was never any such thing as a number four. I don't know anything about that. Take it up with him. Look at this beautiful inlay. A lot of people don't like the Stuart inlay. I'm not one of those people. I love this stuff. I think he, most of his necks are cherry. Mostly used, I think they're all cherry necks on Stuart's. And this is probably some of the finer inlay that you could find on a Stuart. <clears throat> Look at the rim, it's got an engraving, sort of a fleur-de-lis-ish kind of pattern in the rim. That goes all the way around. This is an 11 inch rim, and I've been told there's 30 tension hooks on here. I didn't count them myself, but there should be about 30 of these on here, which is a hell, hell of a lot of hooks. Check out that Stuart tailpiece with the original rosette, really nice. Beautiful little bridge. Look how thin this bridge is. Oh, it's like a sheet of paper. And it's got a narrow spacing on it, which is probably not ideal for a stroke down picking style. But for a finger style with two or three fingers, that narrow bridge, especially if you're playing like they did back in the day, down close to the bridge. really great for fast, lightning fast finger picking down close to the bridge. It does a great job on that. And it's probably S.S. Stewart spacing. That's not an original bridge, is it? It's based on an original bridge. So this it's is copied. Like came with it. Yeah, this is, this is copied off of an original Stewart bridge. So this is very close to what would have been on this instrument from the factory. So that spacing on that bridge is, is narrower than standard modern bluegrass spacing, which to me is already pretty damn narrow. Let's show some more. The interior on this really is a beauty. Look at that. Really nice. I mean, fancy, fancy. You know, and of course, we were talking to Jim Bowman recently, and Jim said that, you know, the vast majority of people who owned one of these, they just put it in a corner in the room or hung it up on the wall as like a status symbol. It's not, not like, you know, most of the professional players, they probably owned these and stuff, but... You know, frankly, it's kind of confusing when you get down here on this fingerboard. You would have to play this banjo a lot, and only this banjo, to be able to memorize like what this looks like. Or, if you were a real pro, you know, you'd be doing all this and you wouldn't even look at it, I guess. But It, frankly, is pretty confusing through here to know if, visually. If you're used to just the regular old domino dot system, this is a lot trickier, but my God, is it pretty. Let's check out the neck. It's got, of course, the heel carving. Ooh -wee! And the notorious heel cracker there. The, the old heel brace. Just a beautiful carving on this. This was not a Friday afternoon carving. This was a really finely done one. And let's take a look at some of the logos, decals and stuff inside. Went crazy with the, with the stamps. Really nice. Let's take a look at that. Nice piece of cherry there. Anyhow, there's not a whole lot on this I needed to say.
everybody if you appreciated this I would appreciate it if you'd give this video a big thumbs up please do subscribe to our YouTube channel would love for you to visit us up at this link that's appearing in the corner up at patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks that's a great way to support our work here I really hope you'll comment leave us a comment down below the video and share this video with somebody who you think might be interested in this type of stuff somebody who likes fine antique banjos Maybe he wants to learn to play the banjo. Okay, everybody. Thank you for looking. <laughs>